Oh, the corner just stopped the fight. What was that, round number six? Now champion at bantamweight with a sixth round TKO win over Alejandro Santiago. That was very impressive. Junto Nakatani is very special. I am, I am super impressed. I was very high on Santiago. All right, let me talk to you guys for a little minute. Um, I am a little under the weather, which is why you're not seeing me on a camera right now. So I apologize for that. Uh, Junto Nakatani just stopped Alexandro Santiago, who is now 28, 4 and 5 with 12, uh, 14 knockouts in round number six. Uh, dropped once in round number six uh, and then shortly after stopped or the corner stopped the fight after he was uh, dropped again. Uh, to win, meaning Junto Nakatani, the WBC bantamweight title, 118 pounds. Nice little resume here. Angel Acosta, uh, Francisco Rodriguez, uh, Andrew Maloney, Orge Cortez, and now Alejandro Alexandro um, uh, Santiago, most notable win. Actually, a lot of people, including myself, thought he should have beat uh, Jerwin and Cajas back in 2018. I covered that fight here. Let me show you. I forgot I covered this fight. In fact, it was one of my biggest videos. Something like a uh, um, hundred something, eighty thousand views or some shit. Uh, it's taking place over in Japan. It is six thirty-two p.m. Eastern, six thirty-two a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Saturday, February twenty-fourth. The main event is going to be Takuma Inoue versus German and Kaz. Uh, top rank on ESPN here in the states or ESPN Plus. Right now, also we have. Um, uh, the uh, WWE Elimination Chamber on very early Saturday morning. Oh, let's turn it up. Hold on. Let's listen in. Can I get the feeling? Got, run, got him out of there. Fantastic work from Nakatani. But dude is good. Can I get the feeling? Team Nakatani is not surprised at all. You know, it's his height that really gives him an advantage for being 118 pounds, less than that five foot seven and a half. You know, you have a really hard time getting in on the inside of him. And from my understanding, let me check real quick. Alejandro, Alexandro uh, Santiago is only five two, five three, give or take. So now when we look at the division here, um, this seems like the way to go. The winner of Jinto Nakatani taking on the win of uh, Takuma Inouye versus uh, uh, Jermaine and Cajas, which is coming up next as the uh, main event. What's going on with Manny Rodriguez? Can somebody let me know? I haven't done any research. Has he really retired or is he just holding on to the belt? Because I haven't, the last time I checked, it was a couple of months ago, not even a couple of months ago, about a month or so ago, I was covering the video with my colleague and uh, look, my man, um, we just don't know yet. Now, Jason Maloney, he's going to be returning on the uh, undercard of, uh, of uh, Lomachenko versus Cambosos. So basically, I guess what I'm saying is this is a division that can be unified. Or there definitely can be an undisputed champion. Oh, well, let's listen to the post-fight interview. Damn, he's fucked up over there. He was doing pretty good. He just couldn't get in on the inside. Let's turn it up. Listen it. I wonder if we go give him a ninja scroll. Thank you everyone for your support. Uh, I'm going to be going to challenger and challenger. So, this is the first time i to be so coming up to tonight, I spent many hours training in LA and Japan. I just want to say thank you so much for uh, to Alejandro for tonight. これで三階級制覇ということになりました。この三つ目のベルト感傷はいかがでしょう。それであのバンタム級、AWBCっていうのはすごく日本人の チャンピオンたちも多く手にしてきているベルトなのですごく光栄に思うとともにまあすごく気が引き締まるのでこれからも頑張りたいなっていう気持ちがすごくあります。So getting the bantamweight uh, WBC title tonight, it's such an honor, especially because there's so many Japanese boxers before me who have gotten this. So I'm very, very honored. そして先生で言うとまた無敗のレコード継続ということになりました。改めて今後の目標、新たなステージ目指すところ。
、えー、教えていただいてもよろしいでしょうか、えー、皆さん、えー、今日バンタム級での、えー、将来を、えー、期待してもらえますかありがとうございます、えー、本当に皆さんの期待に応えれるような熱いファイトを、えー、していきたいと思いますので、ね、これからも応援よろしくお願いします Looking forward to、uh, everybody watching me play,、uh, fight at Bantam Way from now on. Thank you so much for all your support tonight. Humble in victory, Junto Nakatani. His nickname, Fighter of Love. And you heard that there, Chris, thanking Santiago for the opportunity. And sky really is the limit. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that impressive performance. Yeah, it's a near, nearly flawless performance there. That was a flawless left hand. Beautiful shot, right on the money, straight down the pipe, right on the chin. Like I said, Santiago never recovered from that shot. Here we see some action from rounds earlier. And it's mostly one way action. He was just too long for him. Mm. So, yeah, I'm wondering if they're going to go directly for this when the corner stopped the fight. Like, after that first knockdown, he was gone. Like, he wasn't in it no more. You know, the corner threw it in.、Um, it makes sense for them to go directly for because why are they on the same card? You see what I'm saying? It makes sense for now Junto to, not, to fight the winner of、uh, Takuma Inoye versus、um, um, Inkahas. And then you also have that Jason Maloney fight out there for the winner of, uh, of uh, this. And I got to figure, let me see if I can see what's going on here with this right here. Let's see what's going on right here.、We'll、see if we can find any type of news. See, it says there's nothing new. It says he retired, you know, but we don't know what's going on with that belt right now. With that being said, thanks for watching the T Street Controversy with Five View 360.、Um, as I said, a little bit under the weather. On to the、uh, main event. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Also, later on today, we're going to be covering the uh, uh, Edgar the Cannibal Belanga fight.、Uh, that's going to be on the zone. And、uh, yeah, thanks for watching.